Porto Novo, meaning new port in Portuguese, became the official capital of Benin Republic in 1960. It lies on the Gulf of Guinea in Western Africa. In 2013, it had an estimated population of 263,618 people. Although it is the capital of the country, it remains the second largest city behind Kotonu. Many national government operations take place in Kotonu, which is also the economic hub of Benin. The city of Potonovo was founded around the late 16th century. The city, formerly known as Ajase, served as the capital for the Yoruba state of Popo. It later became the center of the kingdom of Potonovo and flourished as a result of slave trade with the Portuguese. In 18th century, Portonovo was a major West African slave port operated by the indigenous people but supported by the Portuguese merchants, who resided permanently in the city. Most of the slaves from Portonovo were destined for Brazil, but some reached Spanish America, the French Caribbean, and the French Louisiana. The British, who had colonized nearby southern Nigeria in 1860, attacked Portonovo in 1863. After the attack, the city accepted a French military presence for protection against the British. By 1883, the French now controlled Dahomey and announced Portonovo into that colony. In 1900, Portonovo became the capital of the entire colony of Dahomey. In 1960, the colony of Dahomey gained its independence from France. 14 years later, in 1974, Dahomey became the People's Republic of Benin after a military coup. Due to the area's 5th century history of contact with Europeans and later its nearly century long direct control by the French, there is a significant Western influence. The main language spoken in the city and in the country is French, due to that long influence. Nonetheless, there are a number of other languages spoken in the city, including Yoruba. Portuguese is also spoken because there were a number of Afro Brazilians who had come to Porto Novo after 1889 when slavery ended in Brazil. Most of the population of the city is either Christian or Muslim. The city is geographically divided into French section and a traditional section. Local Bene people are the majority in both sections, but the French influence is more pronounced in the European section of the city where French architecture has long been dominant. The major financial and commercial institutions that are located there are the hotels, restaurants, and tourist attractions including the Porto Novo Museum, King Tofas Palace, and the Siva Museum. In the past, Porto Novo was the heart and mind of Dahomey, which is today the Republic of Benin. Porto Novo is financially independent. Its budget is very modest and does not allow for major investments. The primary source of income, 67.6% of financial resources, is taxes. Many in Porto Novo work in the export industry where cutting, palm oil, comb, marble, and limestone are the main items shipped abroad. So ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't heard or read before that Africa is blessed, I want to inform you right now that Africa is indeed blessed. Thank you so much guys for watching this far and if you really do like this video, if you find this video very informative, you already know what to do. Hit the like button below, share with your family and friends and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you when next time I talk to you. Godie.